Hello, everybody. You made me put my suit on, so I just wanted you to know that you owe me for this later. Um, we're here to honor somebody who's really, really important to me as a creative person, just to a, just as a human being and just a black person in general who's trying to create something. Solange Knowles is something that I would like to consider to be a true artist. In today's day and age, we kind of have a constraint when we're trying to create something that's kind of closer to conjecture, you know? And it gets morphed into things that we call gender inequality, you know, racial bias, classism, all the things that we like to talk about but nobody really affects. And it kind of affects everyone in this room, even the students who have to, you know, kind of inquire six figures of debt so that the world can look at them as a real artist when that's not what they had to do to be the person that they're studying, but that's neither here nor there. So you extra, y'all be making me just look worse than I actually am. You gotta excuse me, I don't use the teleprompter thing. But Salon just kind of defeated this conjecture from, I would say day one. From solo star to a seat at the table, she's taking more left turns than anybody who could be considered her peers, and all those left turns kind of led us here. This award is a small, small thing compared to her much larger accomplishments. When you look at her peers or just the people that follow her, she's one of those voices that we could say never really changed for anybody in this room. She always did what she saw fit. Making sure that her art reaches from the Guggenheim, the, the Tate Museum to Marfa, Texas, is something that we all wish we could do, but we don't really have the guts to do. So, they said two minutes, right? How long I been up here before they shut me up? All right, I'm just making sure I ain't trying to get in trouble. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not fitting in this situation. But, um, now, as an artist, we all have things that we want to create, opposed to the things that we feel like we need to create, the artists that we, that audience that we want to reach in comparison to the audience, audience that we think we need to reach in. She's kind of been the person I've seen do all at the same time. So with that being said, I want to thank Solange for being who she is, and thank you all for finally appreciating something that you should have appreciated in 2002 when the first album came out. It was... Uh, a couple people couldn't be here, so they decided to leave some video tribute. So this is the part they told me to cue the video, so cue the video. Solange, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there, but guess what? I'm sending a video just saying congratulations because you are so deserving of this award. Listen, you've always been raw. You've always been real. You've always been authentic. You've always been bold, fierce, and loving because you're a cancer just like me and you've always marched to the beat of your own drum. That's what I love about you. When everybody else went right, you went left. When everybody else went left, you went right. And that's what's great about you and unique. And just keep pushing, sister. I love you and we all are proud of you. I'm proud of you. And sorry I couldn't be there again, but enjoy your night, all right? One. Solange, congratulations. You, this is gonna be tough for me because there's just so many things that I could talk about um, that's gotten you to this point. I mean, you have an amazing family, um, great parents, uh, and the impressions that were made upon you when you were young led you to doing amazing music, some of which I've had the, the pleasure of experiencing with you. But watching you go from Crush all the way to your seminal work, you know, seat at the table, unbelievable. The visuals that you've put out, um, which not only transcended music, but like went on to inspire other people to make music and also take cue from your visuals. Um, look at the, the, Meta, the Metatron's cube that you just did. I mean, who does that? By the way, for festival. You know, of course you're getting the Parsons Award, of course. And I'm honored to just be able to say congratulations, sis. Like you continue to do it. Your ascension is inspiring to so many of us. And you have to know like what you do for women of color, what you do for women. But what you do for women of color, like it's unmatched. And I just, I implore you to like keep going.
Them that's God shall get. Them that's not shall lose. So the Bible says, and it still is news. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child the God is on. This God her own, and you got your own, your own everything. It's all you. It's all organic. You did it. You built it. You made it. You said it. You wrote it down. You made it happen. You made it manifest. You made it start vibrating at a higher frequency and you continue to grow and grow and grow organically. And we are watching you. Peculiarly intelligent. And what a lovely friend you are. And with all those amazing things that you are, that's still not your gift. Your gift is your will, your will to recreate, readjust, get back up, and keep moving. I see you. I'm proud of you. I love you. Love, I do. I'm pleased to present the Parsons Table Awards to the brilliance that is Salon's nose. Everybody make a round of applause, please. a little kitten heel and I'm so happy I didn't because it would have broke by now by how shook I am. <laughs> I'm just so overwhelmed with gratitude. I thank you so much Parsons and the new school for this incredible honor and whew, okay let me breathe. I wrote it down because I knew I was going to be very emo. Um, Vince I don't know where you went, but I love you so much. And everything that you represent and speak to, and you're actually like my hero, and I want to be like you when I grow up. Um, Missy Pharrell and Queen Badu, I'm never, ever, ever going to be able to wipe the smile off of my face after seeing the words that you shared. You are my idols, my blueprints, and the epitome of the artists that I've strived to be. I've learned everything from you guys, and to think that you care about little ass me <laughs> um, in that manner just makes me want to faint and scream and holy dance and drop it like it's hot all at once. <laughs> um, my little edges are already very damaged from bleaching them so much, but they're snatched. <laughs> um, Parsons and the new school, I cannot put into words how overwhelmingly awesome this is and how humbled and honored I am. This is really a beautiful night. I rode here in a stretch humber and I'm internally grateful. Um, I wrote some things out. Um, 21 years ago today, this is actually the 21 anniversary, I saw Misty Elliott, Finger Waves, a rhinestone helmet with blood red tinted goggles making the silhouette of the most epic lunar eclipse black moon I'd ever seen in a latex sculpture. And then three years later, I watched Erica Badu trek through the desert, a space odyssey priestess, boots bigger than life, a parachute train longer than life, and a leather crown higher than anything that my imagination could ever reach for. And when I discovered Grace Jones as a teenager, I could not contain myself. It was all over from there. And after seeing these women and knowing that avant-garde 
was not just reserved for the women society told me it was reserved for. You literally couldn't tell my little ass nothing that was on and popping. When I was 10 years old, I visited New York City and capri pants with the little slits on the side were all the rage. I got a pair in three different colors and I went back to Houston, Texas, straight feeling myself, walking into school with a little shoulder lean, head high, and them hating ass kids dragged me from one hallway to the next. They asked if it was flooding because my pants were so high watered. And I learned then and there that I had to figure out a way in life to maintain and preserve my sense of pride when I felt good about what I did or what I represented or created, even if the world ridiculed me. And it was an exercise I became an expert in even when it hurt. But the beauty that came from that was that I learned to use fashion and design and sculpture and art as a way to communicate when words could not translate the emotions and intentions I had inside. How to speak while remaining quiet. How to represent all of the feelings and things that I wanted to speak to only in a way that creation could. I thank you to the women I mentioned for giving me that courage. And this night and this award means so much because now, not only do I get to go back like Soulja Boy and stun on my haters <laughs> and really flex and tell them about this award, but because of the exceptional talent that the new school in Parsons has fostered and sent out into the world to do such incredible work. Students like Chanel Campbell, who I'm wearing tonight, who are truly continuing to shape and mold the way that we see the world, being unafraid, disruptive, working through circumstances and pressures and fears unknown to us, and leading the way as the new faces of fashion, music, art, and design. There's a few people I want to thank very quickly. Um, my mom and my dad and my sisters for nurturing my interests and passions and never making me surrender. Even when I went through my cowgirl phase, although I know those ugly ass boots were loud as hell, um, my Harajuku girl phase, my goth phase, and my really ugly fake ass hippie phase. Um, my incredible husband, Alan, who I get the honor of oftentimes collaborating with and my, collaborating with and my son, Jules, for being the utmost supportive in all that I do. The two of them inspire me forever. My St. Heron team and management, John Bogard, who fights tirelessly for all of my dreams to manifest. I thank you and appreciate you so much. Um, Asia, Armina Musa, Nandi, who is an angel sent to me, Chris Kaufman, you all mean the world to me. Thank you for your tireless work to make these visions come to life. To everyone who has taken a chance on me, many of them who are in the room um, and believed in my craft and my work and have allowed me to explore new mediums and frontiers. To my friends, also many of whom are in the room tonight, who I love so damn deeply and can't think enough for all of their support and guidance. When I think I'm gonna lose it or make really bad decisions, they have my back so hard and I love on me so hard and I thank y'all so much with everything in me. To any and everyone who's ever stopped me on the street and told me a story on how they've connected with my work in any capacity, you are literally what I do it for. And I thank you so much to all the beautiful people in this room. This is going to remain in the bullet points of my life. I thank you so, so much for this. Thank you so much to the Parsons and the New School again and for all the incredible work that you do. And to black women everywhere, you do what you want when you pop it. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>